Good morning and welcome. This is Pastor Lucy Painter with your daily insight. And this month of March is dedicated to faith. And this week we have a guest, Minister Joseph Boro. He will be taking us through a journey of faith that work. Sit back, relax, listen, and learn as he shares about faith that works. Welcome. Welcome to our episode 5 of Faith That Works. And we have had a very good time talking about faith that works. The very first day we said that faith that works is always ready to take an action. Day two, we said faith that works is always focused on Jesus. Faith that works, day three, we said, is always patient. And number four, we said faith that works is always hopeful. And today, we say that faith that works is always able to recover what is lost. Faith that works has the ability to recover what is lost. And in our story here, we find something going against the laws of science. Never or nowhere in my science class have I ever seen metal being attracted by sticks. But it will be possible in the verse of the Bible or the part of scripture that we are reading today. I'm reading from the book of Second Kings. I will start from uh, chapter number 6 from verse 1 all the way to verse 6. And I read, The company of prophets said to Elijah, Look, the place where we meet with you is too small for us. Let us go to the to Jordan, where each of us can get a pole, and let us build a place there for us to live. And he said, Go. Then one of them said, Would, Wouldn't you please come with your servants? I will, Erasure said. And he went with them. And when they went to the Jordan and began to cut down trees, as one of them was cutting down a tree, the iron axe head fell into the water. Oh, my Lord, cried out, it was borrowed. The man of God asked, where did it fall? Where he, when he showed him the place, Elijah cut a stick and he threw it there and he made the iron head or the iron to float. Lift it out, he said. Then the man of, man of the man reached out his hand and took it. So we are getting our point there that a faith that works has the ability to recover what is lost. And when we read the story here of the sons of prophet or the company of prophets, a time that they saw that the place that they used to gather was too small for them. And they asked for a, a permission from the man of God called Elijah so that they may go to the Jordan and cut trees. And when they were busy cutting trees, the axe of one man fell into the water and the man of God was able to recover it by taking a stick over the water and the axe head was able to float. That is not possible in the natural. I have never seen Mero being attracted by sticks. But because of this faith that works, that was in the man of God, Elijah, 
it was made possible so my point here today i know you have taken action through faith that works i know you have been focused on jesus through faith that works i know you have been hopeful that something good is about to happen and you have applied that faith that works i came today to conclude the whole topic and tell you that if you engage that faith that works it is going to make things that don't happen in the natural to be possible so men of god women of god i want you to go ahead and keep believing because supernatural is about to happen because this faith that works has the ability to recover what is lost have you lost your joy in salvation this faith that works has the ability to recover it have you lost your dream this faith that works has the ability to recover it have you lost your finances this faith that works has the ability to recover it whatever thing name anything that you have lost this faith that works has the ability to recover it faith that works has the ability to recover whatever you have lost thank you and it has been a pleasure to be with you as we talked about faith that works i was doing this on behalf of pastor lucy painter thank you and god bless you